Step 1. Download and install the slot software that will slow down your computer. Step 2. Spend few hours learning animation concepts like layers and keyframes. Step 3. Spend few more hours and learn how to animate text the hardest possible way. Well, if you don't have time for all these steps, use Animaker and animate text online in a matter of few minutes easily. Let's see how to animate text using Animaker. There are two different ways to add text animation. You can add text animation to videos or you can create text animation with colored backgrounds. First, let's see how to add text animation to videos. Use the link in the description to reach the text animation page from Animaker. Click on the create option and sign up for a new account. If you already have an account, log in using your credentials. You'll be taken to the dashboard of Animaker. Now select the create option on the left, followed by selecting the options create a video and blank page. A new project will be created in a new window. This is the interface of the Animaker application. On the center is the workspace where you can bring in all the elements and create your video. On the bottom is the timeline. Within timeline, you have three different timelines. First is the animation timeline, which lets you edit any kind of element like text, logos, images, etc. that are present in the video. Next is the video and audio timeline, which lets you edit and change the music track. And finally, we have the camera timeline through which we can add camera effects. In this video, we will be mostly using the animation timeline to animate the text. On the right hand side is the scene section. Scenes are similar to the slides in a presentation as the several slides combine to form a presentation, multiple scenes combine to form a video. On the left hand side is the library which has all the elements that you would need to create your video. On the bottom of the library, you have the upload section. Go to the upload section and click on the upload option and upload the video to which you want to add text animation. Now click on the uploaded video in the library to load it into the workspace in the center. To add text, go to the text section on the library. You have two different options to add text. On the top we have simple text boxes which can be customized according to our requirements and on the bottom we have the pre-designed texts that are designed by our professionals. Let's see how to use both of them. Click on one of the pre-built text designs. Now you can see it appearing on the center of the workspace. Pre-built designs are better option to add title text animation to your videos. To customize the text, click on it again and type in the new text. You can also notice a bunch of options appearing along with the text. This is called the item menu and within that you have an option called change color. You can use that option to change the color of all the elements within a text design. Now on the timeline you can notice a purple colored bar. This bar represents the duration for which this text is going to be visible in the video. For example, if I want the text to be visible only between the 3rd and the 6th second, I have to just drag the edges of this purple bar and keep it between the same duration. Let's have a preview of this text animation that we created now. To have a preview of this current scene, click on this preview icon just above the timeline. You would have noticed that the text appeared with a little animation effect and disappeared with an animation effect. It is because the pre-built text design have pre-applied animation effects so that you don't have to worry about applying animation effects by yourself. Let's go on and see the other option that we have to add text animation. But before that, I'm just deleting the text that we created just now. I'm getting back to the text section and selecting one of the text boxes at the top. Now click on it again and add the new text. On the right side, you can see the settings tab and open. From here, you can customize the text further. Let's start with changing the font style. You can increase or decrease the font size. Change the font color. And control its transparency. To add animation effects, go to the bottom of the settings tab. And here, you can find a couple of options named enter and exit effect. Using these options, you can apply enter and exit animation effects to the text. Click on the enter effect option and you will get more than 50 plus different text animation effect options. I'm just going to select this type in effect. Once I applied an animation effect on the timeline, you can notice a pink colored part within the purple bar. It indicates the duration for which the animation effect is going to take place. If I want the animation effect to happen slower, 
I can just extend that pink part and increase the duration of that effect. And to make it happen faster, I can reduce the length of the pink part. Let's take a preview of this text animation. So that is how easy it is to create text animations using Animaker. To download your video, go to the publish option at the top, click the download video option and then download. Now let's see how to add text animations to a colored background. Let me create a new scene and show you how to do that. To add a new scene, click on the add scene option at the scenes section. Right now the background is white in color. To change the color of the background, click anywhere over the workspace and you can see a new color palette option appearing on the bottom. Click on the edit option and change the color. After selecting the color, click on this green icon over here to apply it. You can also add multiple colors to the same background and create gradient backgrounds using this plus icon over here. Now the rest of the process is similar. Go to the text section and click on one of the text boxes and add text animation as we did earlier with the video background. Let's see how to add music tracks to your text animation. Go to the music section in the library and here you can see a lot of music tracks. To have a preview of a music track, just keep the pointer over it. Click on it to apply the music track to the video. Now you can see the music track in the video and audio timeline. And if you further click on the music track, you will get a bunch of different options. Here you can have preview of the music track, control the volume of the music track, duplicate it and delete it. Now let's see how to create a text animation that is very similar to the one we saw at the start of this video. For that I'm going to create new scene and delete the previous scenes that we created earlier. Let's go to the text section and select a text box and add the text. I'm going to introduce a new text box for each of the words. Let's customize it by changing the font style, font size and font color. Keep the text in the center of the workspace. Right now you can see the text is visible throughout the duration and you can see the purple bar in the timeline. I'm just going to click and drag it and keep it at the 0.5 second at the start so that it will be visible only for the starting 0.5 seconds. Now I want to add a new word. So instead of going to the text section and selecting a new text box, I'm just going to select the current text box. Copy the text box by pressing Ctrl C if you're using Windows or Command C if you're using Mac. Now again press Ctrl V to paste it if you're using Windows or Command V to paste it in case if you're using Mac. Now just click the text box and add the new word that you want. The same way I'm going to copy and paste the text boxes and edit it to create this whole scene. We have completed creating our scene but still you can see the scene's duration is 10 seconds while the text gets disappeared after the fourth second right so let's reduce the scene's duration for that let's make use of this plus and minus icon over here if i click on this minus icon it will reduce the scene's duration by one second i'm going to reduce the scene's duration to four seconds let's see how to add camera effects to the scene for that i'm switching to the camera timeline and by default the static camera will be selected. Let's select the dynamic camera option to add a camera effect to the scene. Now you can see a new pink colored part and this represents the duration for which this effect is going to take place. I want this to happen throughout the scene so I'm extending it throughout the timeline. And in the workspace you can see the frame of the camera. As I want the camera to slowly zoom in and focus towards the center, I'm just going to reduce the frame of the camera and keep it at the center of the workspace. Let's go on and add a music track to this scene. Click on the music section in the library and here you can find more than 30,000 plus music tracks. Now click on one of the music tracks that you want to apply to your text animation. Let's have a preview. Now you know how to create amazing text animations in a matter of minutes. So what are you waiting for? Use the link in the description and create some cool text animation effects.
Thanks for watching this video. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and share your suggestions in the comments.